If you're using a Cisco small business switch to perform DHCP services, you can set up multiple DHCP pools to support each individual network in your topology. Each DHCP pool can serve unique IP addresses based on the type of network you support, such as a guest network, a production network, and perhaps a separate engineering network. We'll talk about how to configure your system on this edition of Tech Talks next. Before we start with the configuration, let's provide some high-level housekeeping. First, the switch which we will configure is accessible through IP address 192.168.1.129. Second, we will create a second network on VLAN 200 and configure an appropriate IP address to access the switch on the second network. We will place port 2 of the switch into the second network, VLAN 200. Lastly, our configuration will focus on VLAN 200, but you will also see a third network, VLAN 300, throughout the demo for illustration purposes. VLAN 300 performs the same tasks as VLAN 200. Let's connect to the switch to start our configuration. In this case, the switch is at IP address 192.168.1.129. Begin by adding VLANs through the VLAN setting page. We will configure VLAN ID 200 as a separate network to manage. Next, we will assign ports to the new VLANs through the Port to VLAN page. We first remove Port 2 from VLAN 1 and then immediately add Port 2 to VLAN 200. You can verify your changes for through the Port VLAN membership page. You can easily see a summary of which ports and VLANs are configured. Now we can move to creating the DHCP pools for each of the networks created. It is very important to note that you must be in advanced mode for configuration. Check the top of your browser screen for the option under display mode. We will assign two pools for DHCP, one for VLAN 1, the default VLAN, and also another for VLAN 200. Pool 01 will support network 192.168.1.0 and serve addresses from 192.168.1.10 to 192.168.1.19. In addition, you can support a default gateway in our example. We would like to continue to use 192.168.1.1, which provides other services such as DNS. Depending on your network topology, this may or may not be a requirement. Pool 200 will support network 192.168.2.0 and serve addresses from 192.168.2.20 to 192.168.2.29. You may opt to support any range for your network clients. Now that the DHCP pools have been identified, it is now time to configure an IP address to each VLAN interface for management and access. Proceed to the IPv4 interfaces page to begin assigning an address for each network that has already been created. VLAN 200 will have an interface address of 192.168.2.20 using an address from the pool of .20 to .29 that are available. You can see all the assignments created on each network. In our example, this includes the default VLAN 1, VLAN 200, and VLAN 300. VLAN 1 will be handled in a special manner since it has previously been assigned a DHCP address from our main network as shown with address 192.168.1.129 and is not within the pool of addresses we configured in the prior step. To properly update VLAN 1, we will need to remove the current VLAN 1 interface with the DHCP type and replace it with our new VLAN 1 DHCP pool. This may be accomplished by going to one of the other networks we just configured through port 2 and perform the operations there. After the update, you can see that VLAN 1 now has the new updated IP address of 192.168.1.10. Now that VLAN 1 is properly configured, you may return to port 1. Further configuration of the switch is now done through the assigned pool address of 192.168.1.10 as shown. So let's summarize our configuration. Under the VLAN settings page, you can see the additional networks that were added includes VLAN 200 and VLAN 300. Under the IPv4 interfaces, we have assigned specific IP addresses to each of our network VLANs. Now that the details have been built for each network, we'll enable the DHCP server to support our network clients across all of our networks. Go to DHCP server properties page and check enable, then apply the changes. 
refer to the address binding page to see which clients have been assigned addresses across our networks. You can also see additional information through the address resolution page. You can see that the switch has assigned new clients attaching to our networks with IP addresses 192.168.2.21 and 192.168.3.31. Congratulations! You have configured and successfully provided DHCP IP addresses across your VLAN network. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.